हेलो नमस्कार एंड वेलकम अनोवा टू ए क्लासिफिकेशन सेकंड केस एंड पार्ट टू ऑफ सॉल्यूशन इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन बिकॉज द एग्जामिनर हैज फ्रेम्ड द क्वेश्चन इन अ वेरी यूनिक स्टाइल एंड देन वी कैलकुलेटेड एस एस सी एस एस आर एस एस ई विद द हेल्प ऑफ एस एस टी ऑफकोर्स नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर इन दिस पार्ट टू we are going to discuss about anova table which i have already say partially prepared and the whole process of hypothesis testing but what is the case exactly we or say a group of researcher is interested in studying the effect of three varieties of seeds and four different kinds of blocks of agriculture land with the purpose that any of these three varieties or four blocks contribute to greater output of a crop and 12 elements that means three seeds were assigned to four blocks that means there were total 12 elements and so on first of all let's take variety of seeds which we have presented in columnar form and as usual the null hypothesis should be of no difference so simply the null hypothesis can be there is no significant difference in the output of crop due to the variety of seeds this is very simple general form of null hypothesis but specifically for this or this kind of problem what do we exactly mean by this no significant difference that is no variety of seeds gives greater output of crop than the other varieties we believe that more or less all the four varieties are same so far as the average output is concerned there is not much considerable difference between the output of all three varieties but if at the end of our testing of hypothesis what if this null hypothesis is rejected we have to reject this null hypothesis then we should have an uh, alternative claim to be accepted as conclusion and that is known as alternative hypothesis and that should be in this particular case or this kind of cases at least one variety of seeds gives greater output of crop yes at least one out of three any one in two or all the three gives greater output of crop yeah against no difference what do you mean by a significant difference yes at least one gives greater output than the other two or at least or any two gives yes that can be the conclusion in case of block rather blocks of agricultural land which we have presented in the form of rows the null hypothesis again in general terms there is no significant difference in the output of crop due to the different blocks of land but what about this particular case or this kind of cases what do we mean by no significant difference none of the types of blocks of land gives greater output of crop than the other so on an average the output on all four kinds of blocks of land will be the same but again what if this null hypothesis is rejected at the end of alter, at the end of say testing of hypothesis process we should have an alternative claim to be accepted as conclusion and that is our alternative hypothesis and in this case in this types of all the cases it should be at least one block of land or one type of block of land gives greater output of crop yeah if there is significant difference then that means any one or more kinds of blocks give greater output than the other blocks yes okay first let's complete the anova table and then go for testing of hypothesis of course anova itself is part of testing of hypothesis because anova is actually say systematic approach to calculate the f ratio or f ratio in case of two a classification we have already substituted the values of ssc ssr ssc which we have completed in the previous lecture yes let's calculate msc mean sum of squares for the variety or columns That is SSC divided by nu one. That is eight divided by two equals to four. Yes, 
MSR for rows or blocks is SSR divided by nu 2 that is 18 divided by 3 that equals to 6 and MSC for errors or residuals is SSE divided by nu 3 that is 10 divided by 6 that is 1.67 approximately and on the basis of this we can calculate F ratio for columns that means for variety of seeds that is MSC divided by MSE that is 4 divided by 1.67 let me find out the exact value Yes, it comes to 2.34 and F ratio for rows or blocks of land will be MSR divided by MSE that is 6 divided by 1.67 and that is 3.59 yeah. 3.59 or approximately 3.6 Okay, now what? We have calculated value of F. Let's compare it with critical value. F ratio for columns or variety is 2.34. And critical value of F for columns should be found based on nu3 in the first column that is 6 and column of nu1, 2. It comes to 5.14. Use the table of F test. So calculated value of F is less than the critical value for the variety of seeds and that means null hypothesis is accepted. Yes, what do we mean by the acceptance of null hypothesis? That means the null hypothesis itself remains our final conclusion. That means no variety of seeds give greater output of crop than the other varieties. That means so far as the output of the crop is concerned, on an average, all the varieties are same or equal in performance. So use any, using any variety of seed will not make any greater difference in output. This is our conclusion about the variety of seeds. Let's arrive at the conclusion for blocks of land. Yes. And for blocks of land, the calculated F ratio is 3.59. See, here number of columns and number of rows are not equal. The critical value of F is also not same. In this case, we have to find out the critical value on the basis of nu3. That means degrees of freedom for errors and degrees of freedom for rows or blocks. And that is 4.76. Again, in this case also, the calculated F is less than critical. That means here also, null hypothesis is accepted. We cannot reject the null hypothesis. That means the null hypothesis itself becomes our conclusion, rather final conclusion. So now we can conclude that none of the types of block of land gives greater output of crop than the other blocks. That means on whatever block of land out of these four we sow the seeds there will be not much difference in output so broadly we can say that any one kind of seeds can be sown on any one kind of block the output will be more or less same we need not require to use a particular variety of seed only we can select any one out of these three or any one or more out of these three and we can sow them on any one or more blocks of the land the output will not be much different this is our broad conclusion for this or this kind sorry this particular problem or case i hope this lecture proved to be useful to you for understanding the 
preparation of NO table for 2A classification and calculating the F ratio as well as the procedure of testing of hypothesis. Particularly, I always emphasize on discussing the null and alternative hypothesis in each and every problem. Thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe my channel, YouTube channel PRSHNTPUAAR and also don't forget to like this video and all my videos and in pass the information about my channel and lectures to all your friends, all your classmates and others.